Okay everyone, uh, yesterday really big gusts of uh, wind um, and I was silly enough to put up my future energy alternator or the wind turbine up. Okay now I'll just talk you through this thing here, it's got a solar panel on top and uh, it lights basically it's like a can of coffee and it you have a little light inside and then I made out a few holes when it spins really fast like it is now you get these nice lines and the kids like it doesn't actually power anything it's just decoration so is this this is my attempt uh, vault and um, I ain't got nothing connected to it which is uh, a shame really I don't know what I'm gonna do with that I might charge the local kids a pound and they can hold on to it and just go for a spin because at the moment they're not really powering anything uh, and there's the antic as you can see doesn't stop now this thing, here's the beast. Yesterday I had this connected. I had to pull it out because um, basically the Antec maximum is, gives me is like four or five amps, and this thing yesterday was like 30 amps, it was like 400 something watts, which was scary, and uh, it was really gusty as well. And I could hear the battery sort of bubbling, and I had the inverter connected, I had the lights. Here's the Antec going crazy as usual it actually looks as if it's stopped it's spinning solar panels at the moment they're in the shade uh, I get like a month of shade I still get a bit of sun but then um, from about 12 o'clock in the afternoon the tall buildings there as you can see just put the sun away hopefully next month I'll start getting a little that's the little tower where that future energy turbine was on and I'm telling you something it was scary at 2 o'clock in the morning I had to come outside it was raining as well picked the whole thing up and I just threw it there because I could tell from the LEDs I've got inside the house that it was just it was too much power going to the batteries and I came here batteries are fully charged and um, and yeah I just had to disconnect the whole thing and put it down. That's the battery bank. This is the rectifiers. That's a little hint hit sink. And this is where basically the future energy is an AC. So it comes into there, gets rectified by these three things. And then uh, here's the DC. Let's see what the Amtec has done today. Only connected this in the morning so far it's really hard to see isn't it it's 5 amps peak 68 watts it's not really windy today but it's not bad I mean 68 watts not happy with that and batteries are standing at 1303 solar panels are not doing anything are they that's the solar controller here for the um, for the solar panels. This is the 50 watt one. It's not really charging because obviously it's in a shade, which is so annoying. As you can see, 0.70 milliamps. That's the other battery bank. That's the 40 watts. And uh, another thing I want to play with which I haven't got here anyway I'm gonna let you guys go I'm gonna have some lunch but yeah the future energy is scary it's really good though I'm happy with it but I don't think I've got the room for it because it's it is massive it's 1.8 diameter you know and uh, on this thing it just stands like dogs bulls but that's it Really, there's nothing to it. Uh, you buy the alternator, and then uh, this is a, a chair thing, swivel, and you just put a bit of tube there so the electrics don't get any wood on it. You, hook, you know, you put a tail up. I just use everything from the chair. So this thing here is from the seat of the chair. Just welded. I'm learning to weld. That's pretty much it. It's 
nice sunny day today. The Amtec doesn't stop. I wish I could put this thing up here, but as you can see, the Amtec diameter is probably uh, about not even probably 600, and this is uh, <laughs> this thing here is three times as that. So you can see that it's going to stand out like anything, and the neighbours will just complain. This thing here is crazy. It never stops, but I don't know what to do with it. I got a belt, a belt there. And I wanted to hook it up to the bottom of it. There's a little, see this, this thing here, and run the belt with it. And connect it to a generator, but I don't know what I'm going to do. I think it's called the air lens something, and then the middle bit, I'll just put these thin things there. It's quite efficient. It seems to turn all the time. Just not charging anything. Okay, see you guys.